Good morning, my vain and veiled peeps and brides. So I just wanted to make a quick video and explain to y'all some of the stuff that um is going on and will oh, continue to go on. I have had a ginormous influx of brides since I would say the week before Christmas, which is great. I'm so, so grateful. Um, last year was a crazy season. We were able to still make... Um, I would feel like a, what I would call a successful bridal season. And we still have some brides that are due up this next year um, that were on the schedule for last year. So all of that is great. Everything's going, going smoothly despite the pandemic and all the other crazy crap going on in the world. But we are hanging in there and everything's going great. Um, I have had such an influx of emails juggling um, responses and uh Getting quotes out has been a struggle because I'm doing that part just little on me. So please bear with me. Um, I've touched base with some of you. I told y'all I would try to do contracts on Mondays and send them out. Um, but those of you that have reached out to me and are waiting on a contract, I will get them done this afternoon um, and send them back. I think I have four to send out today. Uh, but my iPad's been acting kind of crazy and I work all there when I do my contracts. Um, so I don't really know what's going on with that, but I will get them out to you. I do have some that have already paid deposits. And if you, if I'm talking to you about your wedding, um, I'm not going to then put someone else in that spot. I, I will, I'm a first come first serve, but I also have a moral compass. I'm not always driven by funds. So, um, I will reach out to you to make sure if I haven't heard back from you after the contract and if I haven't received your deposit to say, hey, this is what where we're at. What, are you ready to move forward? If not, I have someone that needs that date. So I try to be, although my communication might not be daily or weekly, I try to stay in good communication with my brides. Okay, I'm going to try my best to uh, explain this without sounding like a butt, okay? So, we take care with Vane and Veld of a very broad variety of clientele. Um, we do not pigeonhole ourselves into one area at all. We love everyone. We support everyone. Um, we're in the bridal business. So I'm in the hair salon business. I've worked with, seen it all, heard it all. Nothing shocks me anymore. But um, I got on Vein and I got Vein and Veiled on the Knot and Wedding Wire. Um, it's kind of like it's a website platform where brides can go to check out um our what they call a storefront now your storefront basically i don't want to say it's like a like a facebook profile but it, it kind of is it's it's just like a social media kind of platformy thing so on my storefront you can see me the founder of vane and veld you can see a description of me you can see a description of our work um pictures of our work you can see reviews now honestly things were so crazy at the end of last year i didn't do a very good job of keeping updated pictures on there of, but you can, you get the gist of what we've posted, you know, what we're capable of doing hair and makeup wise, um, on site weddings. Well, when all of this craziness from 2020 and the pandemic and the rioting and the slandering and the putting people into categories and like, just, I feel like, 50 steps back happened. With that being said, I have a lot of you that have reached out to me through um, Wedding Wire and The Knot. I started getting these weird notifications. Now, like I said, we have a very diverse clientele. We have a very diverse clientele at, at weddings and in salon. So, we do not cater to one specific thing, um, person, type of person, male, female, 
different race, different backgrounds, different anything. I mean, all are welcome. But when I started getting on this website that I'm paying for, for our spot, it started asking me questions. And I'm going to post, and it started asking every time I logged in to answer one of y'all. And at first, it just started off if I was a Black-owned business, was it exact verbiage. And I'm like, skip. If you're paying for a spot, you shouldn't be asked a question to put you in a category. But I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, okay, with the climate we're dealing with right now, like maybe they're doing some kind of like special thing or whatever. I'm not. So I'm just going to skip it. So I just kept skipping it. Then it started asking me, and I mean, y'all, it was like a category. Were we a black-owned business? Were we a female-owned business? Were we a male-owned business? Were we... um a transgender on business were we business or lgbtq affiliated were we i mean i'm literally like any kind of label you could give a person which hello i'm a white girl i'm okay with you calling me a white girl i mean it is what it is um i was like whoa so i was like okay i'm paying for a storefront spot why are you asking me these questions? It was disheartening. I don't feel they were appropriate. It was like completely irrelevant. You're a bride. I'm here for it. I guess, I don't know. I, I just don't know. It just, it just completely blew my way. So with that being said, um, we are no longer as of February 3rd going to be on the Not in Wedding Wire. I am respectively bowing out of their business because I do not agree on their stance of trying to put people in boxes. Like, hello, it's freaking 2021 for God's sakes. Like, why are you trying to put people in boxes? This is my personal opinion. This is what happened to me. This is how I feel. Now, nobody at that company was rude to me in any way, shape, or form. And when I emailed the lady back to tell her, you know, no, we're not going to be renewing our contract. And it has nothing to do with funding. It was just really disheartening. I'm like, okay. Just felt like by asking these questions, what's the point of me paying almost $200 a month for a company that wants to know for whatever purpose how we're owned that's what the storefront's for you see my mug right here on it okay there's a biography underneath it now there is pictures underneath of what we've done and and if you go on our instagram which is linked to the site and then if you just like are curious and you hop over because you see that vain and veiled is founder is hair by jay smith and you click on that hair profile if you are a vain and veiled bride that found me through the knot and wedding wire, me through there, and I emailed y'all back directly, I will still be able to be in touch with you. Um, if you see my storefront drop off, which I'm sure you will, I'm not sure if it drops off February 3rd or if it'll be up for the month and then gone. I, I, I don't know. But that is why um, I'm not closing at all. We're slammed. We have so many weddings coming up, but I just wanted to give y'all like a heads up of why it might look a little different or why you're going to be seeing me more on Instagram and our Facebook page versus the Not in Wedding Wire. Life. I have two four-year-olds. I also run a full-time hair salon. Um, so, you know, life gets busy and I'm doing my best to get my quote out to you, but um my family does come first. So I love y'all. Brides, y'all are my jam. That's like my favorite thing. But um, I have to have healthy boundaries so that I don't get overwhelmed. 
and that you get the answers you need when you need them. And I'm here for any question you have because, you know, I know y'all have questions and that doesn't mean I want to answer your question. It just means if you ask me a question in an email and I don't respond immediately, I will. I promise. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful Monday. Happy February 1. Woo -woo. We survived January. So, um... I love y'all and I appreciate y'all's business so much. And thank you for sticking with us through all this crazy stuff. And we are looking forward to a very successful 2021 wedding season.